I, uh, I found out that car sex is illegal recently. Um, but I think I'm going to keep doing it because here's the thing. Cars can't get pregnant. Uh, <laughs> stupid. My best friends, they had a Halloween-themed wedding recently. And I was like, oh, that's a fun way to let people know they don't think it's going to last either. You know? <laughs> And I, this is the thing. On the invitation, it said that we were allowed to wear costumes, but everyone got really mad at me because I dressed up as the ghost of his first wife. <laughs> like, we're not mad you dressed up as a ghost. We're mad the whole time. You're like, why'd you let me drown, David? Why'd you let me drown? <laughs> I am scared of ghosts. Uh, that's why I'll never have an abortion. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they can get up there, you know? Um... And if they did, here's the thing. I'm from Florida, so I have an uncle that is a ghost hunter. Um, <laughs> but, you know, like, he can't go up there anymore, you know? <laughs> I'm over 12. Um, I feel weird about making abortion jokes. I feel like that's a hard thing for a woman to go through. Like, you know, like, you, you can use a carpool lane on the way there and not on the way back. You know? <laughs> it's a rough day. Um... I, uh, I, uh, I am a feminist. I support all women who weigh more than me. Uh, <laughs> I do think things are getting better for women, though. We're seeing more women in, like, male-dominated fields. Um, like me, for instance, I do stand-up comedy. I run my own business, and I commit domestic violence. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't run a business. <laughs> People are terrified to date comedians because they think we're all, like, crazy for some reason. And it's not true. And, like, to prove it, I went to a psychiatrist. And they said, he said, he's like, Madison, there's no reason for you to be here. And sure, I was outside of his house. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like it still counts. Uh, <laughs> I'm gay. Uh, when you don't cut your hair, you have to let people know verbally. That's how that works. Uh, <laughs> But the last, the last man I ever went on a date with, it was the worst date of my life. Uh, he took me to Buffalo Wild Wings. And, uh, yeah, it gets worse. He talked about the movie Eight Mile for two hours. <laughs> and then afterwards, he, like, leaned over and looked sexily at me. And he was like, so when am I going to see you again? And I told him, I'm sorry. When it comes to dating me, you only have one shot, one opportunity. <laughs> So we dated for six months. Um, he was a conspiracy theorist. So I was like, I need to end this immediately. Um, but I was like, all right, next time I see him, I'm going to break things off. And then the next time I saw him, he was like, he texted me. He's like, it's our month. It's our six month anniversary. We can do whatever you want, which is not a real thing, by the way. So I'm like, all right, we can do whatever I want. What I want to do is do a bunch of mushrooms and go to the Santa Monica Pier. And then I thought it'd be a great idea for one point in that I'll just break up with him. <laughs> I saw no flaws. Uh, so we're at the pier. We're very high in mushrooms. And we look off in the distance and we see all these beautiful lights. And I'm like, I have to see what this place is. It's beautiful. We walk up to it. And I'm like, where is this? And they said, it's Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. <laughs> and I was like, what is that? And they're like, it's a Forrest Gump themed restaurant. And I didn't even know that existed. And I was like, what? And they're like, there's a Forrest Gump themed restaurant? And they're like, yeah, there's multiple across the country. <laughs> and it was at this moment, what's messed up about this location is that they have a host there that has no legs, which usually equal opportunity. I'm not ableist, but like on mushrooms, I was like, we're in the movie, you know? <laughs> I was like, I don't think we're getting out of here. Um, it, it's the worst place you could possibly go on drugs. Uh, there, because there's like a lot of things about that place that's kind of fucked up. They have a menu item called Jenny's Catch, which if you see the movie, <laughs> she catches AIDS. Um, <laughs> it's a weird choice to name a fish bucket, um, but I got it because it was a good deal. Um, <laughs> and I mentioned it to the guy I was dating at the time, and he was like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, like, you know, the movie's Forrest Gump. And he goes, what's Forrest Gump? <sighs> and I don't know if you guys have ever been, like, high on mushrooms and had to explain the concept of Forrest Gump. 
to a conspiracy theorist. But the more you explain it, the more he seems like he's in the Illuminati. Like, I was like, this one guy knew JFK and Elvis, and he was involved in Watergate. And by the end of it, I'm screaming in a Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. I was like, Forrest Gump didn't do 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> so for a very particular reason, I decided to run. Um, 